Hand propping an airplane is the term we use for starting an engine without an electric starter. Scarier than that, will this airplane actually manage to take off? The famous Burt Rutan designed the Very Easy back in the late 70s. It is known for being extremely efficient, able to fly long distances on very little fuel. Powered by only 100 horsepower, this airplane can carry the pilot and a passenger long distances and using relatively little fuel. Like many experimental airplanes that strive for either efficiency, speed, or both, ingress and egress was not considered a priority. Needless to say, hand propping is very dangerous. The first step consists of rotating the prop in order to build up compressions in the engine before switching on the magnetos and then spinning it again in order to start the engine. Most accidents will happen due to distractions. But wait, there's more. As you can see with the very easy, hand propping the engine was just part of it. Now you have to manipulate the airplane into position whilst the engine is running so that he can lower the front nose gear and then climb in the airplane. So here you can see what he's doing is he's maximizing the amount of runway usable. He's gone all the way to the very end. So maybe he's aware of adverse conditions or he knows the performance of his airplane. It does look like a hot day. And I'm not sure what the altitude is at this airport. Now remember, the Very Easy does not have flaps to assist with creating more lifts. I just saw a windsock there and I think the wind is coming uh, directly uh, in front of him. Well, he doesn't seem to be climbing very quickly, and that runway seems to be climbing faster than, uh, than the Very Easy itself. Oh my god. There's the windsock showing the winds facing him. Is he going to make it? Oh, yeah. Thank god. Those trees are coming up fast. <laughs> 